Okay. Good day to everyone. Today we will discuss macroeconomics, the five sector economic secrets of the diagram in a three dimensional model approach. Uh, today, this lesson contains a very brief, just very brief, just to refresh us, uh, the introduction of sectors. And it will be followed by the lesson proper, which is the circulation. So, when we talk about five sectors, we have, well, five households, businesses, and firms, financial intermediary, government, and foreign sector. When we talk about household, it is the entire population, or what we call it is the society. Um, it's the share of gross domestic product purchased by the household, and its primary role is to consume. So while this sector also goes by the name household, it, it's not necessary that people should own houses, okay? It's just a term. Uh, this household sector is merely a shortcut used to indicate the consuming wants and need that they all have a needs and wants to be satisfied. Next in line is the businesses and firms. Um, it is the private profit-seeking firms in the economy, usually composed of proprietor, partners, or corporation, or even cooperatives, and their role is to produce the needs and wants. And next is the financial intermediary. They, well, we don't say, <laughs> they are intermediating between the net savers and net borrowers of the funds in the economy. So their primary role is to give financing or investing. Next is the government. Uh, they impose resources allocation decision that may not be made by others and the rest of the economy. So they are the only t the one who moderates, monitor. So that's their primary role to govern. Last is, of course, the foreign sector, also referred as rest of the world. That is also correct. That is actually acceptable. They comprise of everyone and everything outside of the political boundaries of the domestic economy. So their primary role is export and import. With that, uh, I told you, very brief. With that, usually m households and business and firms are usually discussed and being tackled in microeconomics, while all is for the macroeconomics. So that's that. Let's move on. We begin with the base sectors, which are the household businesses and firms. So very obvious, businesses and firms will sell a product in the market and household will consume. Of course, it is not free. Uh, that's madness. So household has to pay up. And businesses in turn will have revenue. So as you can notice, this is not a sustainable um, sustainable flow because sooner or later the household will deplete in cash so uh, the household has to work they will provide what they'll provide factors of production land labor capital entrepreneurship in the market and usually they offers labor this in turn will help the business and firms acquire the required factors of production to produce the goods or product or services that it wants to sell but in turn since they have to pay up they will incur cost then household will earn with that we now have the very simple very simple diagram two sector only let's continue suppose household has extra cash um, to be technical say they reach a positive marginal propensity to save so they have discretionary income and all needs and wants have been satisfied. What will they do for the extra cash? They have extra money. They will invest. So 
they will invest this money in a money market which is regulated by the financial intermediaries ranging from public banks government banks to private banks to private institution or financial institutions and when this business uh, needs cash probably they want to expand the business they will harness these things or this opportunity through the money market so the common market is of course the stock market where people lend mon business money or to the business via stocks after a reasonable time assuming the business does not default from its obligation the business has to pay interest because they are they are using the money the term may change from one investment opportunity to another such as the stocks they call it dividends but the idea is that there is an increase in money and they will go into pay the cost of financing or borrowing and in turn of course household will earn interest so what if the the business has extra money same goes they will similar behavior they will lend and the household will borrow money and they pay interest also and the business will earn interest now we now have three sector in our diagram so next next is the government now with this tree diagram uh, the government uh, it regulates the tree sector and participate also in the two market so let's discuss first on how it participate in the market uh, of, of course uh, very obvious also it sell product probably public products and of course it will earn revenue uh, it can also acquire factors of production say they need employees or labor to run the system but that will also cost the government usually referred to as government expenditures aside from participating in the market they may also join the money market uh, that's that there we go uh, when they join let's say they have extra cash the government has extra cash they print a lot of money um, the government can lend money to the people or to the business um, very obvious uh, form is when public banks have promise for the people or business so that they can lend the money and should government uh, for some some event or accept acceptable reason government depletes uh, its uh, funds they may ask money from the economy itself or the, the society so they will issue bonds or treasury bills though it is not as commercialized or sensationalized as the stocks okay next is we have um, participation or relationship with the businesses and firms and household very obvious it will tax both the household and businesses and firms for any income business or business income that it imputes can be also in permits um, but in return it can also create programs to give back benefits to the economy okay so that's that there we have four sector diagrams let's move on for the last sector to add and the next is foreign sector so the last sector is the foreign sector also referred as rest of the world again Again, this is also acceptable. It is also right, rest of the world. How does the foreign sector? Well, we will need another camera view for this one to better appreciate its relationship to the market, to the economy, and to the government. So the usual behavior of sector is, of course, to sell products. So foreigners will export to the locals 
and the locals will pay them a local currency so they will earn revenue they can also sell uh, the locals can also sell to the foreigners and the foreign sector or the foreign countries will pay them in foreign currency direct or indirect a gentle reminder to use by the way to use reference subject when you use terms import or export so we will know who is buying and who is selling say we export they export they import we import etc okay okay so for for the next factor aside from product the rest of the world may also participate in the factor market in the factor market of course they may acquire factor product let's say uh, the foreign business likes to outsource animators from the local country so of course the animators uh, will have to be paid but they will pay them foreign currency again in a direct or indirect manner next is the local can also search for foreign factors of production for example the locals do not have any astronaut so they will ask for foreign astronauts from a short work like a seminar webinar to a long-term joint venture and that work uh, requires uh, payment so the foreign sector uh, who has that astronaut will earn money again in local currency of course and then you may be wondering we have foreign currency and local currency happening in here and um, of course we cannot use foreign papers to a local country or vice versa so those money will be exchanged and th those place is usually referred as the foreign exchange market or forex in a, a very aberrated uh, uh, term this is where remittance actually took place and they are regulated by the local central bank to the foreign central bank okay so now the government sees that the rest of the world is earning through the local country um, it will impute taxes uh, it can also create tariff to protect the local businesses so that big foreign businesses will have difficulty to enter in the war small businesses it's an act of protection uh, of course the rest of the world will also behave the same Aside from taxes, the local government may assist other countries as well via its government expenditure and vice versa. So that's that. And there we have it. So that's that. We now have the five sector economic circular flow diagram. We can see how factors of production or products flow. Uh, we can also see the local currency foreign currency or what we call the money how the money flows um, a very sustainable system in a in a long run so there you have it so we are done with both sections both lesson content that's it thank you for studying with me ciao